now what we're going to do is load a one of the characters that we've just saved. So and I'm going to start with my Gargan example. <laughs> So I selected the file, and notice what the character name is. Um, no, you cannot edit that. Uh, this is not going to be a player character. So we're going to click that off. And um, is the character mentalist? No, it's an orc. Is it going to be uh, one hit wonder? Well, for right now, we're going to say no. And let's say there's more than one. <clears throat> And let's say there's 10 of them. And this is what it would look like for names. So, and as you can see, it is now loaded uh, 10 Gargan into the file. What all of these fields and inf this information is, uh, you can find that. Um, in the user manual. That's the best way to read about that and learn about it. The only other thing I want to show here is uh, one of the things I like to do is once I have something like this set up, I go ahead and save it and I typically do this. It just tells me how many of them there are and we're done. Now I can go ahead and close this file, and that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So let's close it. Yes. And now we're going to open up our player group. And that one is right here. So this is a player character. He is not a mentalist. Another player character, not a mentalist, not a mentalist, not a mentalist, not a mentalist. None of these characters are mentalists. So here's my player character file. And again, what I like to do here is save it so that have it. Now we're going to go ahead and load up all of the uh, Garkin. So you'll notice here we had add additional characters to the current combat set. So go back. And I'm going to load this up now. This dialogue is basically saying that this was this file was saved by the Hero Combat Manager. And do you want to set the character type PC versus non-player characters or create more non-player characters? Um, if you click yes, you're going to get the same selection that you had when we first loaded this file. Typically, you want to say no. So say no, and now you'll see all of those characters have been loaded into this file.